Well, hello and welcome to Soulful Sundays. This is our very first one and I will be doing a series every Sunday for 13 weeks called Soulful Sundays. In this series, we're going to talk about things that are good for your soul, things that feed your soul, things that are important for your development. I'm going to speak about it in a way of sort of weekly challenge is to practice it for a week between, between the next one that you try, if you're going to follow along for each week. If you're just landing on this one, I still encourage you to give it a try for a week. It's healthy. So here we go. This week, I want to talk about trust. <clears throat> to really get in touch with how much you trust yourself to choose well in the future. How much you trust yourself to choose well when it comes to being able to pick people to surround yourself with. Or how you, how you feel on any particular thing. Trusting your own good judgment. Trusting yourself to be able to carry you through a crisis. Also, how much you trust others. Whether you trust right away, whether you're guarded. I want you to pay attention to where you stand in trust. Trusting our pets is sometimes easier than trusting people. Whether or not you trust in a thought of a higher power or whether you trust your spiritual grounding belief system that which could be anything any arcing description an idea that we're all connected an idea in your own personal god an idea in gods and goddesses an idea of um a breathing living universe that we're a part of Whatever your trust is, a belief that when we're gone, that's it. There is no whatever. Whatever it might be, but do you trust it? And so this week, I want you to think about when you encounter thoughts that are causing you to sort of have to stop and say, where am I at on this? How do I feel about this? Do I trust this? Do I trust the connections in my life, whatever. Again, it's not about becoming hyper aware and, and scared in our head. It's about being able to then say, <clears throat> I need to hand over to trust. I, back to the self. I trust that I have chose well to surround myself with people that I, that I can trust. I trust that I'll be able to decipher into the future what is healthy for me. I want you to then work on affirmations and bring it all back to trusting your own ability to read people well, your own ability to trust your own instincts, your own psychic self, the voices inside of you, your internal heart link that draws you forward or compels you to research things or brings you forward into change. Trusting your ability to read that, to be able to say, what is my heart telling me? Not what my head says. What does my heart say? Because I can trust what's in my heart. And to learn the difference between the two. Are my choices being clouded by things that have happened to me in the past or pain that I haven't overcome yet or fears of the unknown? But deep inside my heart, am I still being pulled towards something? Do I still feel in my heart that it's safe, even though in my mind, I'm afraid? So enjoy your week, soulfully expanding, contemplating your relationship with yourself and everything around you, and especially your ability to walk into the future, trusting yourself to choose well.